Hi guys, good morning. Uh, yeah, we have a guest today who thought it was a good idea to pray, uh, to always pray before we do the series of the devotion or encouragement. So this is IJ, she's going to pray for us. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the faith of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you. <laughs> so today we are going to look at, uh, I just had this, I was reading um, Exodus when the Israelites were in awe of what God had done for them. And I was just thinking, these are the same people that were actually complaining and asking Moses, you know, like, oh, if this is what was promised, we would rather go back to Egypt because this is not what... Um, we were told of the place we were going. So before they reached the promised land, they were impatient. They didn't want to wait for what was coming. But in Exodus 15, uh, you see um, Aaron, you know, they're, they're, they're saying this, like they're, they're full of wonder of what has just up happened. Um, 15.11 says, Who among the gods is like you O god who is like you majestic in holiness awesome in glory working wonders and that's the new international version um then i started you know really thinking of this question because it's not really a question for anyone to answer because the answer is there is no one like you you know there's no one like our god we have so many songs that sing that because he's sovereign he's above all and um, so I just put that into like a Google and, and see, let, let's see what that, let's see what people are saying about that. And um, I found that in Hebrew, the word Mikael means who is like God. And it's actually a rhetorical question, which doesn't require any answer unless you say no one is like him. Um, so there's, there's none that can compare to him. You know, we have like there's this Swahili song. Hakuna mungu kama wewe, you know, nimeta futa kote kote, nimezunguka kote kote, you know, there's, there's no one like him, we have searched and searched, and, and it's actually true, because so many times we look for, for him in, in places and areas, in things, uh, in people, in um, uh, experiences, but there is no one like him. So Mikael is, and it, it was actually one of the archangels. Um, and it actually means, the, the meaning is, who is like God. And it, my mind just kept on racing. And then I remembered um, when, when Job was challenging God, and God challenged him also. Uh, when um, God asked him, so that's in... Um, I have to find that. I'll, I'll write that. Um, so God challenges Job and said, "You know, um, were you were you were you there when I laid the foundations of the earth? You know, tell me if you understand." That's in Job thirty-eight. Have you commanded the morning to appear, or caused the morning um, to rise in the east? You know, it's. Yeah, it's like God is challenging him. Like, if you have the answer, then speak up. You know, speak up now. But you see, no one, none, none of us can understand his doing and, and his ways uh, because they are beyond our human understanding. As far as the East is from the West, that's how our thoughts are different from God's thoughts. thoughts. Um, so we come back to again when the Israelites are saying, who is who? Um, who among the gods is like you? There is no one, you know. Because they continue in Exodus 14, 31. And when the Israelites saw the great power the Lord displayed against the Egyptians, the people feared the Lord and put their trust in him and in Moses, his servant. So the same, same people who are like in despair and impatient were now singing, who is like God, you know, full of um, majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, working wonders. Um, and it's just like us, you know, when we are pressed against the wall and there's no, um, there's no sign or glimpse because normally he shows us a glimpse of his glory or a glimpse of uh, the promises that are about to come. And, you know, 
or he brings people to us to encourage us just you know and and they share prophecies of things that are to come or promises but sometimes you're you're in a place where there's no encouragement that is actually coming in no glimpse of his his behind the scenes works that he's doing uh there's no breakthrough there's no sign of breakthrough and these are the moments we're like the israelites where we are like you know we rather go back to the to the things we know uh rather than sit here in uncertainty and wait for this miracle or this promise that you say will come at your appointed time and then we keep on asking what is your appointed time god you know if you could sh just shed a light on what your appointed time is but then he can't because he knows how our human uh, nature is the impatience and he just wants us to trust in in him and in in full on full of faith um so the, there's a tough place of waiting that is where you've seen what god can do you know where you've seen where, what god can do so here and then um waiting for what he can do so you're actually here in the middle where you you're waiting for him to to do what he has said he will do so you actually know what he has done before but you don't know when he's gonna do this next thing so you're actually here but of course here is full of uncertainty but also faith from previously uh previous victories and testimonies from other people so my encouragement for us today is just that deliverance will come it will come and we will be the same people that will, will be singing none compares to you god you know um because he wants he wants to deliver us he wants to uh, fulfill the promises that he has spoken to us so keep encouraged um know that the same lips that were in despair the same lips that are going to praise him and um give him glory so uh keep the faith uh find encouragement give encouragement be the support and um yeah god bless you and have a good day bye bye